just like to go ahead and make a little video here of the game I'm working on. Very, very early build that is playable on itch. itch.io. So what we're going to do here is kind of go through giving over the view of what this game is, what I've got planned, and hopefully you guys can like what I've come up with. As you can see, I'm very inspired by Super Metroid. The pixel art is in very early stages. I would like to update that pixel art. I thought about doing traditional. Hollow Knight has been having a huge effect on me. But I'll probably stay pixel art just to make what feel. It's my favorite game of all time. I made the music. I, it's not very good, but I made it, and I'm proud of it. Uh, this is my main character, one of two who should be playable. The, this is the older twin, Gwen, the orange girl with the green eyes, and her twin sister, Ira, the orange girl with the red eyes, is not playable yet in this early build. And it's like Super Metroid, there are hidden mechanics, there's power-ups to find, you have a wall jump, five like a Metroid Dread. There are power-ups you will find around the world, I have very generic power-ups in this game right now, and it just increases your health. So in this room, you find your first mini-boss, he's nothing too tough to deal with. That didn't hit. That one hit. When he dies, he will drop your actual major power up. Allows Wind to manifest a beam out of her hand. It is completely powered by her essence, which is her life core. The more essence HP Wind has, the stronger her beam is. So if we get full HP, this is the max beam. But if we were to get hurt, that wind takes some damage. Now you can see her beam is smaller. She has less essence to work with. There is a pogo mechanic. Ripped straight out of Zelda. I was glad to see Hall and I had one too. Stationary attacks are a little stronger. You can't move while you're using them. Jumping attacks are a little weaker, but you can retain full mobility. Crouching. And you attack in every direction. Well, main direction. There'll be spots where you can't go yet because you lack the proper power up. Right here is a statue of the savior. This is where you can save your game. And if you are missing essence you can recharge here she will completely see just died but i'm not dead when and her twin sister era that's the main mechanic of the game they are unkillable not die instead they get up and as you see now my full health is now lower and if I die again with my 4 HP, I fall over, and now my full HP is lower. Now too, and my essence beam is directly affected by these deaths. So while I can't die, game win is unkillable, there is a consequence being safe. Once you're at one, every attack's gonna knock you down. It's gonna be a very annoying thing to deal with. And you got the smallest beam. And I will not drop health because this is your max health for now. And of course, the way to fix this is to return to that statue. And go to one of those, it will pop your health back up and you're good to go. Here was a jar, it's the equivalent of an energy tank, and your essence is fill it up. Essence, and when you die, you get a chance to come back with that essence without losing health for being actually dead. As you can see, there will be secrets that you can get out of sequence. I will.
was not technically supposed to get that yet because I can't possibly get up there, but by utilizing wall jump, I was able to scale up and get that. Now I have a slightly bigger attack range. See here, my bosses are very Mega Man inspired. You get the health bar that fills up. You go into all the bosses. This man has seen multiple nerfs because of the amount of hate my family and testers gave to this guy. If you'd like to fight a pre-nerfed version of him, let me know in the comments and I will oblige you because I don't, I never thought he was that hard to beat. So it's just a small pogo puzzle. I would also, and I've played this game so much now, this is just a small uh, build. And I, would, I like to have like a, I want ways that people can do things. So, as you're saying, I pogoed over here. So ideally you would want to pogo to get over there, but you come down here first or check us out. Well, you don't want to pogo, you want to get the power up. So you want to find a different way out the wall jump and get hit and there you go without having to go back and pogo also dashing does use essence ability because you were using your power to dash i am actually considering another bar like a uh a life force essence and a physical essence and then your physical essence will get used first I'm still trying to figure out how to implement that. And just to showcase real quick what happens if you die to a boss. Like I said, Wynn and Yira cannot die. That is the main gimmick. If you do die to a boss. Again, you'll get, you'll get plenty of chances to. Like, I'm not trying to make a hard game. Like, I'm just trying to make a... Again, I'm just trying to make a game. I just want to make a Metroid Bay so you can explore. Don't have to worry too much about death, find power-ups, and be on your way. You can see if you die to a boss, you are kicked out of the boss room. You are obviously a lot weaker. Right now, the respawn point is right outside the boss room. I have thought about it being the last statue you rested at. I think I will switch to the last statue you rested at. So that way you never have to do the run back to the statue, back up to the boss. You'll go back to that statue and then just have to run to the boss. Then we beat the this playable demo. You get your percent of items you found, the time it took, and you get to see your twin sister. Who will also have her own path. Which will be very similar yet very different. Very different. She plays plays different. I just want to thank you for viewing. If you're interested, like I said, I'll have the link for the demo in the uh in the description you can download it try it yourself tell me what you think if you have any suggestions or ideas tell me what you think thank you very much for watching bye